All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to New Tartarian Times Beyond the Self. I'm here with Campbell, and Campbell's here with me early in both of our mornings. And we're going to discuss a continuation of our last one where we were, you know, looking at what is beyond the self? You know, what is your world about? How do you get to your new story? You know, we've talked about that. We've looked at bugs in the system. And now we're going to like maybe delve around a little bit about the challenges inside and outside once you start to build your story, you know, psychic attacks, uh, what's bothering you between your ears, what what seems to get in your way on the outside and what you can do about the challenges that are going to rise while you're making your new story. Yes. How are you going, Renzo? Good, good. Hey, Campbell. I'm sitting here in a very brisk morning, so I have a big coat on it. It's a little bit chilly. Um, but I've, I've obviously just um, moved, moved, you know, across the country and you know, bugs, what, what are bugs? You know, bugs in the system, all this stuff, parasites, rah, rah. I mean, they're the voices really, aren't they? They're the voices, mm -hmm. the negative voices that natter, natter, natter. And it's interesting because when I was in Perth, there was a lot, you know, I was subject to a lot more um, radiation via propaganda, you know, all this noise and news and stuff. And uh, I didn't hear, you know, I was like, ah, I I'm good, no chatter there. But now that I've moved to the country and everything's a lot more quiet and there's, there's, you know, not much sort of going on in the background, I feel these bugs are starting to be, you know, I can hear them now. I'm like, oh, where were you hiding? So it's interesting. I, I think the thing about these voices is they don't come out and tell you, hello, I'm the bug, I'm the bad guy. They pretend to be you. So we really have to know who we are, I guess, to, to you know, work out who or what these bugs are and when they pop up so that we can squash them like they should be squashed yeah it's the hardest part about making your new story is generally the thing that hides the most right and if it's hiding behind your eyes or it's hiding behind you know between your ears or if it's hiding using your voice it's easy to trick you right it's easy to fall prey to it it's easy to to uh you know be sidetracked or or, or, or taken away you know, even in the definitions of the day, right? I mean, so many people are talking about AI and they're afraid of AI or the all-seeing eye. And, and so many people are afraid of virtual reality and what it is and what's going on. And, you know, I strongly feel that all of this is a part of us, right? We're being tricked into making, I mean, what is virtual reality, right? It's a reality. It's almost there. That's not real that you're making. And, you know, something that hit me the other day is everyone thinks it's putting on some goggles, right? And looking at a TV screen or, or, or buying the latest video game. But, you know, I've always said that if it's obvious, like if it's a TV show or if it's obvious that it's pushed out to you or if it's obvious that, you know, some, somebody is saying that it's coming, uh, it, to me, it's obviously a misdirection, right? Because everyone, in my opinion, is already living a virtual reality, right? If you're not living your story, if you're not living your, your idea of life, if you're living in a religion or if you're living in what school told you or if you're living in what media told you, if you're living even what your parents told you, it's not your reality it's not your life i mean where did these rules come from where did uh the ideas and limitations and so-called permissions you know all originate and you know i want to take this back to the bugs that campbell mentioned which is why i mentioned this is maybe those bugs are what is perpetuating or per, per continuing on with you know you hear it between your ears you can't do that you shouldn't do this you must do that you have you know you're a bad girl you're a bad boy you're a good girl you're a good boy when you do this the other thing and like where where do these ideas come from where does this reality come from where does that voice even come from you know where does your intuition come from these are all really important questions and by asking these questions and seeing the answers that you get and where you want to go you know by your own admission as to what you feel you would like to create and i know this is a little hard to put into words because i'm trying to discuss you know maybe multi-dimensionals in this you know, unidimensional way I'm, I'm communicating with Campbell, but you know, really what it comes down to is if you understand the bugs, you understand your reality, you understand yourself, you understand where you're going and you understand what you wish for, not what you can wish for or what you'd like to wish for, but what you're honestly asking for, then you can continue or begin to make your story more realistic for yourself, stronger, you know, more, more real and, you know, move in that way. But it really, you have to explore yourself in a deep, uncomfortable way. 
before mm. you can move from that way, I would say. Yeah. And, and this is, you know, probably why a lot of people, you know, ignore these bugs and that because, you know, we're so taught to focus on the outside and how we look and how other people mm. you know perceive us right so we can't go inside and and admit that you know that there's things we need to fix inside of us and you know we see this a lot with people you know it's, it's often the people with with the biggest bugs the biggest monsters that want to tell everyone else how to live their life and they don't want to go in inside and fix themselves so um, everything, you know, needs to be turned back in, you know, it's, it's the toroid, right? It's the onion, mm. you know, the layers, peeling back the layers of the onion. It's a statue that's not finished, right? And there's nothing more to add. It's finished when there's nothing more to take away. So what we're taught, you know, in society, and this is the other thing, we're taught this reality. This, this is why they have to send us to school for 12 years, most of the time to imprint this reality. So that is the virtual reality. It's not real. It's not the real reality. The real reality is under all the layers, but you can't get there unless unless you, you're truthful with yourself. And this is really this is the essence of, of you know pretty much everything, right? If you're not truthful with yourself, if you don't know thyself, you, you can't go anywhere. You can't fix a problem that you don't know you have. And and people love to stack virtual reality on virtual reality, right? They don't like the reality they're in which isn't theirs which has been taught um so they stack all these other ones and, and they then pretend you know they put the masks on and pretend to be something else and create personas and then they just yeah. building these layers away from, from themselves um and, and that might seem easier but in the long run it's not the easy thing is to just deal with yourself and be and be truthful and you know have those conversations if you need to ask people who who love you you know your family your partner how am i how, how do you perceive me because a lot of us, you know, we, we can't see ourselves. Right? Other people can see a lot in us that, that we just mm. miss. Mm. So, so that's also, you know, obviously with people you trust. <laughs> um, but this is the main thing is if you want to get to reality, the real, real thank you, then you've got to give up the virtual, right? You do have to take the goggles off. You have to take off, you know, they live, right? Take off, oh, no, no, they put on the sunnies, don't they? Um, but, but you have to peel back this overlay that has been imprinted on us. Because that's what's happened. We're told this is reality. This is red. This is why the sky is blue. This is speed. This is what you need to do with your life. Get a job and get a mortgage and no, no, and do this. And that's not true. That's someone else's reality. And and it, it, we can only create our own reality when we, um, you know, when we're courageous enough, I guess, to go inside and really view what we want and then go out and do it. You know, with, without worrying what the feedback's going to be, without worrying what people are going to say, because when you do do something different, you're always going to get, you know, haters, right? You're always going to get the naysayers every time. I mean, it's so hard to believe or trust in anything other than your own experience. I mean, even everything you hear on the internet about AI and virtual reality and wars and what's going on and you know, secret uh, exposures and, and, you know, we found out this and the other person found out that and this is what the virus was about and this is what it wasn't about and this is what AIDS was about and this, you know, who knows about any of this stuff? Like, like who really knows about these experts, these people, this information? Like, I don't know anything about anything, but I do know the experiences I have in my life. And so people that say, you know, this bad thing is happening, so we have to fight it or that bad thing, or even the angels are talking to me or any, anything outside of you, I would find suspect, for the simple reason that why is this information coming to you? Why have you taken it on? Why are you deciding, you know, that this is good and this is bad? You know, as Campbell said, you learn for 12, at least 12 years in school, what you go from five to, you know, 18, most people go to university. So way more than that. Most people are probably in school for 15 years and, you know, you're getting all this input and, the 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 and and again it's not a moral standing that you have to figure it out for yourself and you have to take responsibility and 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 you should do this or that it's literally an energetic truth in that you make your reality in how you see believe uh, intuition into it act what your guts are telling you so it's all you all the time. Like, like all these people that are saying like, well, I'm having a psychic attack, so I can't do this or, 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 or I'm being yelled at, or I can't, you know, any outside influence that's stopping you from doing what you feel like doing is literally the virtual reality that is being imposed on you as, as, as opposed or expressed 
as in as in like what what is virtual what is reality like virtual version you know tool maybe dual i mean it's interesting to if you start to break up these words ver version vision maybe tool virtual tool kind of rhymes with dual so maybe their virtual reality is just the duality that most people are living in it's you know it's possible if you want to play with words a little bit and i was sitting there you know looking at this uh over even before i just got on you know if it's virtual and you're living dual you know or ai as in all seeing eye like people are all worried about it and i think we're living in a mirror uh reality maybe ai switched on itself is just i a i am so you know maybe ai or all seeing eye is just giving you this reality that's not you people are living in and maybe if you switch it around in that you know Campbell and i have discussed this before we're living in a mirror world uh and you look back at yourself maybe it's i a or i am and wasn't that God's original? I am that I am, you know, one of the original ones that, that came down to us. So like, like I, I like to play with these and take them back as far as possible. Like I'm getting chills and thinking about this because maybe I am that I am is a hint at what you can do as you are who you are. And you just have to figure out the I am instead of the AI, switch it on its ass and understand the virtual is maybe just dual reality which everybody gets their duality, good, bad, up, down, evil, bad, all of these things. And then so you kind of collapse that, you know, again, the Big Bang Theory, everything's opposite. You know, I've read that maybe things aren't expanding out, maybe things are collapsing into, uh, you know, uh, 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 I am the oneness that you are. And not that we're all ones, we all have to be the same, we all have to wear the same pants and, you know, boys and girls or girls and boys, that's, that's you know, the biggest bullshit in the world. But it's maybe just that what it comes down to is you make your reality, so literally, it, you are the only one that's important. And I, and I don't want people to say that, oh my goodness, means you're selfish, but it's not about being selfish, right? Once you realize you are the only one that's important, you realize you have to be loving if you want a loving life, you have to be generous if you want a generous life. You have to be smart if you want a smart life. You have to be creative if you want a creative life because as you are is as your reality becomes. So it's not, again, a moral thing. It's more of an intelligence or integrity, which just means to be whole anyways. Integrity means, uh, you know, if you have an integrous structure, it means to be of whole, of sound, of completeness. So if you have integrity and you're complete and you realize the AI is the I am, you know, and then you take or you accept responsibility for all the BS and bullshit and mistakes in your life because they're yours. I don't care if you were one, if you were just born, if you just breathed out and something silly happened. I still feel we asked to be born from where we come from. So, you know, no, nobody's coming in blind, so to speak. I think from, from first breath to last breath, you know, we asked to go through these experiences so that we can figure things out for ourselves and move forward from there. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was... <clears throat> One of the first, I think it's in the Bible when they ask God his name, he said, I am that I am. Yeah. Um, so, so this is it, the, the I am, the AI, the I, and we are the I, of course. You know, so it's, it's all these dual meanings. Of course, they love to put the I in the little triangle and, you know, this, it's all seeing. Well, maybe we're the all seeing I. Maybe that's the oneness, right? But of course, that they put it as an evil, you know, thing and they put all this propaganda out so no, no one will look into it. Mm. And this is this is the whole thing about, you know, getting all your information from outside of you. It's all opinions. You know, we, we don't know this stuff and we've been told so much stuff and we've been told it's truth and it's the way forward and everything, blah, 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 blah. But is it, you know, can we really question things? Because if we can't question things by ourselves, you know, just literally thinking, but is this right and wrong? If we can't go through that process, then we're not living our lives. We're living someone else's version of it, you know, because every thought we have is, is basically controlled by the outside world. So this is, and, and this is kind of the biggest, you know, the biggest bugs of all, right? They're hiding in plain sight. We, we just think that's us and our persona, but it's not. They're sitting there taking away from us and hiding the real us. So we don't get to ask those questions. So ultimately we don't move on. We don't grow. We don't write a better story, all these things. So virtual reality, you know, we, we're already there. We're already in the virtual reality and the way out is in, right? And we've heard this before, like life's an inner game, right? Um, so, so all the answers are in and you are the eye. Of course you are. And, and so does that mean, are you seeing with your eye 
or have you given your eye to the all-seeing eye? Because that's what they want, right? They want to take over, you know, the big view of who you are. And, and as far as artificial intelligence, you know, you can believe what it is. What well, I mean, you can believe whatever you think it is. And, and we have all the, again all this fear, right? Oh my God, artificial intelligence! I saw one this morning. <laughs> what was it? I actually saw two. One was artificial intelligence is turning young men into terrorisms. You know, those kind of people. And the other one was um, AI. Start, yeah, somebody in a business got it to write something, and the AI was lying to it and like was making up like references of books that didn't exist. And and all, and so everyone's like, Oh my god, AI is going to take over the world. I believe AI is an algorithm, I don't believe it, it has any intelligence at all. I believe what was going on here is it's another inversion, it's getting more intelligent by everyone using it. How many people have jumped onto AI and started? asking it questions and pouring in information into it and letting them know how it letting letting it know how they think so it, it's getting smarter now it's still an algorithm but we're giving it the information to get smarter so that's going to create the virtual reality right because outside of us so this is the thing um artificial rea reality can be what or artificial intelligence can be whatever you think it is and if we're creators if we bring everything back to where energy you know, like attracts like, you know, we create energy and visions and that attracts the same thing back. Well, then if I don't believe artificial intelligence is intelligent or ever could be, then can it be? Right? It's not, it's not, a, rea it's not a possibility in, in my reality. So this is the thing. We've, I think a big thing that people can't get past is that their reality is different to everyone else's. We, we're all creating our own little world. We're all in our own little world. So what someone else says to you is true is only true for them. It's not true for you. So this is this is um, getting back to the, you know, the bugs, right, and, and all this kind of stuff. If you listen to the outside, you might just be listening to other people's bugs. So much better to go inside and, and slay your own bugs first. You're just kicking yourself in the ass if you believe in artificial reality because – if, if you're talking to it or you're giving it some ideas, the ideas came from you first, from somewhere. Right? I mean, you know, as they say it's watching us and it's learning from us, but that's just reflecting back to you what you've already done. I mean, we go first, right? The AI, maybe there's no such thing as an artificial intelligence. I don't think there is. It's either intelligent or it's not. It's either alive mm -hmm. or it's not, right? There's nothing artificial about intelligence, right? So because it's just a misdirection of words because a computer is not intelligent. Uh, you know, a machine is not intelligent and can't be, right? It only has the information it has from the past and it can only regurgitate that. So if it's making up books, it's somehow making up a story from information it already has, right? It's not creating, you know, it, it's just cobbling, you know, so it can cobble faster than you. Sure, it's it, it has like alg algorithms that can move, but, you know, it's what's behind where things, like if anybody looks and sees what's happening with, let's say, YouTube or Google or maps or, or intelligence or, or countries or politicians, there is an intelligence behind it. Something is directing this full movement somewhere. Does In my opinion, it's not moving it to our benefit. It's moving it to the benefit of something else. You know, maybe a, another identity, maybe another, uh, maybe it's a group of humans. Who knows? Maybe it's, a, it's an alien. I, I think it's personally a non-human intelligence. That's my guess. And that's only my opinion, but it's an intelligence. Just because it's not human doesn't mean it's artificial, right? And so the rest of it is just having us run on that hamster wheel. It's like, oh my goodness, what did AI? Oh my goodness, what did this person say? Oh my goodness, the media is changing this. Oh my, you know, there is no debt ceiling. There is no monetary uh, problems. I mean, they keep making it. It's an imagination game. You can imagine as much as you want to imagine, right? Infinity is infinity. Unlimited possibility is unlimited possibility. It's never ending. Right. You know, as in our life is never really ending. I think the consciousness in this meat suit we get born into one day runs out of juice and stops. And what comes after that, you know, is 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 up for debate, obviously. But probably you're doing something with your consciousness and taking it along. And if you're living a reality that's not yours here, why would it be any different after the fact? Right. You probably take that unreal reality that you've made and you carry on with it. Maybe that's the karma that people have to deal with is basically, you know, you're making a dream and then you have to live in a dream. You made your bed and now you got to lie in it, so to speak. I mean, I mean, that's probably a very useful way of looking at everything. So once again, if you've got to like listen to the bugs, as Campbell said in the system, figure out what's virtual, you know, things have been virtual since day one. 
from the time your parents told you you're Christian, you're Jewish, you're Muslim, you're whatever. It's already virtual because, you know, and then you have all these rules you have to live with and all these things you can do and all these things you can't do. Why? Because I said so, because I'm bigger than you, because you don't get your allowance, because, you know, because, you know, no breakfast for you or no ice cream and you can't go to the movies and, you know, whatever else they tell you or you have to go to school. Why? Because because I said so. You know, it's, you know, it's fun. You'll meet Janie there. You'll meet Billy. I mean, that's how they trick you, right? When you get to go hang out with kids your own age. So you want to do that. But while you're doing that, you know, they're sticking a stick up your your arse and, and <laughs> saying, you know, but that means you got to do this, 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 and this. And it's so artificial. It's ridiculous and when you're sitting mm-hmm. in that class classroom. So it's good to come back and see where you are. You know, we're, I'm going to tie this back into the fact that Campbell and I are discussing a new story. This is where... I would like to put my efforts into this world is to see our new stories, to create our new story, is to build our new story. And to do that, you know, you have to understand yourself implicitly. And part of it is everything we've talked about to this moment, and especially in this conversation. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, you know, we've been saying this for a long time. And of course, um, you know, you don't have to do this. You don't have to listen to us, right? This is outside you. But um, we, we say these things just, just to give you better questions. And that's, that's the whole thing is don't listen to us and go, oh, my God, they're right and go and do it. Just consider what we say. And if that brings up a good question for you, then, then follow that down the path. But the, this is the main thing is make sure that the decisions you make and, and the path you follow is yours. You know, again, we're just programmed so much on the external. But like Lorenzo mentioned, most of the external is just this, this meat suit and this overlay, which isn't permanent. What's inside is permanent. And what if we do create, you know, the next life from this one? We don't know. We, we don't really know what's going on. But um, there was a movie, I think, um, Robin Williams, uh, I forgot what it's called, but basically people, when people died, they, the next life was what they were thinking when they died. So imagine if that is the truth, right? Mm. You, know, you might want to start thinking your own thoughts and imagining a better thing because, you know, with this money collapse, right, we've been hearing about it for so long, you know, everything's not, oh, the, the account, you know, it's going to collapse, collapse, all the banks are going to collapse. And, and what that is, that's called programming because, you know, the, and I, I agree with Lorenzo, this, there is another intelligence, I'll just say it's not us, um, but it can't create, it needs us to. So that's why it has to program us and school us and propaganda, all this stuff. So what it's been doing is it's been getting people thinking, oh my God, there's going to be an economic collapse. Right. And then when enough people believe that, guess what? We get an economic collapse because we created it. So if that's true, then that means you can create whatever you want. Instead of creating an economic collapse, you can create wealth and abundance. Right. And and people around you will say, that's not true. You can't see all these banks are falling. And again, that's their reality. That's not your reality. That's their virtual reality. And you can jump in and go, yay, let's let's play and put the goggles on together. Ooh, the world's falling apart. Or you, can go, or you can just understand that that's what they've created for them and you've created something different. It's different, right? We don't all have the same experience. And this, you know, again, this is what a lot of people tend to think that, that this collective reality is the same for everyone, but it's not. It's not. We all, we all know that some people, you know, will go through the same experience and some will love it and some will hate it. You know, for some it will be scary and for some it will be fun. We see this all the time. So your reality is already not anyone else's, but what they're trying to do is get us together to create this collective reality, which is one that's not that good for us. What if it's, what if it's all BS? What if there is no next collapse, no next reality, no ascension, no nothing? I mean, if you imagine that we're creative beings and we're being eaten, let's say, by these bugs because we're a food source. People talk about Lucia Waitiko and all this. And so they have to keep us in scrolled, in caged, you know, uh, locked in so that they continue to eat us. Wouldn't it be just the easiest thing to trick us into doing it to ourselves? You know, everyone's spinning in this bubble. You know, I'm sure, you know, 100 years ago, they had their own bubbles and 100 years from now, they have their own bubbles. And so they keep kind of changing the colors in your bubble. So you're endlessly fascinated by the rules or what's coming or what's going. And, and the bottom line is you don't get free. Right. Because if you're not free and you're just kind of sitting in this bubble making juice for them, you know, Campbell and I talked about the aphids and the ants before and the bugs and being harvested. You know, so if you're just sitting in a bubble and 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 they're siphoning off your your juice, you know, uh, while you're in the suit, you get old, you get to crap. Well, I mean, what is aging? People don't understand that. Supposedly cells can live forever if they're properly looked after and they're not poisoned. 
right? Supposedly energy, you know, can't be created or destroyed. You know, that's an old uh, scientific something or other, you know? So if your energy can't be created or destroyed, what's really going on? Right? Why do you get weak? You know, why do people get old? Why do some not? Why do some go on and on and on? Like, well, you know, why do, like, I feel way more energetic than I did 30 years ago. Why is that? You know, I know why. You know, I was full of my own shit, right? So you poison yourself and it could be psychic shit. You know, you know, Campbell talked with Kelly recently on, on purging, right? So if you've got crap in your bowels, you've got crap in your head, you've got crap in your blood. Of course, you don't feel energetic. You're poisoning yourself, right? You know, or if you've got a leaky gut, you're eating bread, you're eating sugar, you know, they, there's all this garbage going into your system. So of course, you're weak and, and things are weakening you. And so you're easy prey and you're being eaten. So again, really comes all down to the fact, I don't think there can be an artificial reality. I think you make your reality, call it what you will. You can call it, you know, Billy or Bob or Janie or, or reality X 23, if you want to, you know, and so it can't be artificial because you're not really artificial, right? You're, you're a being that's alive. And it's just, I would say one of those other rabbit holes that people are falling into right now and chasing mm -hmm. And and not, you know, and in the end, what are you doing? You're not getting anywhere. No, no. Again, it's the statue, you know. It's not finished when there's nothing more to add. It's finished when there's, you know, we don't, we, we don't know that anything's real, really. There's there's very few proof as, as, you know, like truest truth. And, you know, I remember, you know, back in the day when I was, you know, doing the research and I came across the fact that, you know, the, the chromosomes, right, we've got 43 um no, 23 sorry pairs of chromosomes but all other hominids have 24 pairs and the, and they say you know oh so that means our first two chromosomes are actually fused together how does that happen oh it's genetic engineering right and that plays into this whole narrative of you know that the fallen angels coming down and we're this man, manufactured being well we don't know that that's true and i used to you know say yeah i used to go around and say yeah this is this is it man I mean, when you think about that, we, we can't, I mean, I can't go in my body and, and check it out. I don't know. It may be true. It may not be. But that's one of the beliefs that, that is out there as a, as a truth in, for a lot of people in the, in the truth of community or whatever you want to call it. But it's kind of a disempowering belief, isn't it? 100%. You know, it's like, here's another piece of the puzzle. Yes, yes. But that means we're created by someone else, not the creator. No. So all these belief systems. That that's the kind of thing that you you know you might not think is a negative belief or disempowering, but when you you know take the time to go inside it and review it, then you can start to say, hang on, n nothing is a constant. It could be bad, it could be good. I don't know, but if you only listen to the outside and to a certain group of people, they'll be like, oh, of course, this is what happened. They they changed this, and and where does that where do you lead? Kind of leads into the prison planet, the trap. Oh my god, we can't do anything, and and there you are. Now, if you believe that, guess what? That becomes your reality. Yeah. This is the game. This is the game. This is the virtual reality game. They are giving us their reality, and we're making it virtual, right? We're we're playing into it. We're acting it out for them, and and ultimately creating the whole scenario for them. And and they are the literal puppet masters, right? They're just sending us the lines, and if we buy into that and get up on stage like a good little actor and say them, we've just created their stage play. Yeah. I don't think anything's virtual, but anything's re anybody's reality. It's real for you. Whatever you're making is your reality, right? It's your day to day, it's your experience. And even saying it's virtual and saying it's not real takes it a few steps away from you, right? So the power is not in your hands. You know, I, I, I was along the same lines as Campbell. I was, oh my goodness, aliens made us and Zachariah Stitchin and all his books until I heard he's working for, you know, the Mossad and all those other bad people too. And I'll, I'll you know, because I read all those books and go, oh my goodness, the Sumerian texts and all these, and somebody, some, and he's the only guy that could translate them. You know, already that suspect. So one guy, the only guy in the entire cosmos that can read this language and he's telling you what it says. Maybe, maybe he's wrong. Maybe he's full of shit. You know, you know maybe it wasn't the first. So again, you can't really trust anything outside of yourself. You have to trust yourself you know, what if like everyone's watching screens, even now I'm watching a screen or a TV. I've seen like these 200 inch screens. Last time I went to an electronics store here, it was crazy. Give me a headache. I was walking through this room with all these huge TVs. So what if everyone's living in this screen, right? And it's just a round screen. So no matter where you look is the screen, right? And things are coming back to you. The screen, the scream, you know, terraforming, terraforming, as, as Campbell said. So, you know, you've got all this fear surrounding you 24 seven. And so... 
you know, so you, you take it in, you put it out. And then of course you feel trapped. You feel, you know, disempowered. You feel like a slave, but you know, if you turn off the screen, meaning I would say you stop thinking, you stop letting anything in, you go inside, you see what you're asking for. You know, you hear the screams inside your head anyways. You know, those are the bugs in your system. It's going, no, turn the TV back on. Turn this. You can't do that. You know, oh my, what about your money? What about your health? What about your mother? You know, what What, what about Tuesday when you have all these important meetings? And and, and what's, what are they going to think about you? And like all this crap, That's that's the virtual shit inside your ears. And you clean that, clean out your ears. You know, clean out your bowels, you know, clean out your system. And maybe, just maybe, if you go into your heart or you go into your guts, you'll get some other ideas on what's potentially possible for you. And, you know, we have bugs inside, right? Bug, bugs in our system, literally bugs in our system, bugs in the system when I'm pointing at the computer, all these bugs. So, you know, maybe we'll call this one bugs in our system uh, part two, you know, more bugs. And to figure out if as long as you clean those bugs, maybe there's more behind and through and over that will allow you to make something beautiful of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely time to debug, right? Um, you know, what's a bug? It's a listening device. You know, we're looking oh. at screens. Are you being screened? Are they screening you? Mm. Or are you screening them? You know, so there's all these all, all these words, right? So, so it really, I mean, you know, as, as far as I see it, it, we're dealing with another entity that wants to be God. It wants to be the I am, right? It wants to be the eye in the sky, you know, the the one eye, all this kind of stuff. But the only way it can do that, because it's not the creator, it has to create a virtual world, right? But but you're made by the creator. So so this is the choice. Do you want to jump in and, and live under, you know, a, a false god, right, in their virtual world and, and help them create it so he can be god of you and you can be a nice little worshipping slave? Or do you want to go back to the creator, go back to in, inside, back to your source and, and start listening to that little voice? Because one thing I've, I've just come across again and again in the last few weeks is listening and being quiet. Mm. And I've spent some time with the, the local Aboriginal elders and they are so quiet and mm. they just listen and they they don't respond. When you ask them a question, they, they're not like, oh, yeah, but that, that there's, you know, almost a minute of silence, you know, because <laughs> they can consider everything and then they they speak with you know determined words it's not like you know we, we just we're so flippant right and, and we throw these opinions out so flippantly and then they're, they're not even ours i mean oh, i catch myself doing it. i say oh, blah 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 and they're like oh where'd that come from and then a lot of the time i have to go back and check it oh god is that real is that true you know so we've got to keep checking ourselves because you you can get into this habit so easily of just spruiking other people's version of reality and when you do that you start living into the virtual reality and this is the whole trap right they lead you down the path and before you know it you've got this false god who's giving you reality right so much better to get out and, and make your own reality and just understand you've got the power to do that you have the right to do that and you're doing it anyway you're changing the world anyway just because you're here so how do you want to change it That's what example do you want to be and respawn, response. It's like a reese to do again, right? Rewind. So, you know, if you were just responding, you're just like, where, where is the, the, the idea? So if you're quiet, so, like the aboriginals. Mm, yeah. mm. Well, pond, right? Ponder. Mm. To ponder. So if you just ponder, you're just thinking slowly, right? Oh. But yeah. if, if you're respawn, you know, if you respawn, it's like to re ponder. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but, and that's, you can't reponder, can you? You, you can't that that's just going over that's just rethinking something ponder is, is something in the moment that you can that's when you're you know and you're you're, you're connecting with yourself you can't re-ponder something like that that's using the left brain and going over it oh what's i right that's the outside world so yeah response is, is re-ponder there you go we're spell breaking live we are I mean, the other thing that hit me is like, what's intuition, right? Like, wh where do you get that? Where does it come from? You know, I sat down the other day after dinner and said, intuition, people go, oh, that's just, you know, you know, you feel like something, so you go act on it. But where does that come from, right? We're, 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 we're like, nobody's really questioning who we really are, right? Like, I, I like AI, I am. I really think that uh, we've hit onto something that, that's, uh, it, that's helping me. Like I said, I can't tell anyone what to do, but you know, I am is the best way to start and the only way to finish 
a life. And it's and we we go back to being the author of your own story again, because it is your story. I am the author of my story. You know, I am my own God. And it's not a narcissistic yeah. thing either. It's not a bad thing. It's like if you are the creator and that is who you are, you have no choice but to be your own God. Right? You have no choice but to follow your own intuition if you want a life that's your own and not mm. a responsive life, a responding life. If you're not sharing the life that of this AI that's tricked us, I mean, maybe it can create. Okay. People will say, oh, it can create. So we create for it. I think, well, you know, I think everything maybe it's a creator, whether it's human existence or 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 non non-organic, it doesn't really matter. Maybe everything is a creator. And maybe the trick is it's just we create ourselves into a cage. So it tricks us to create our own cage and we cage ourselves because if you were a god and anything was possible, that would be the only way to cage you, wouldn't it? If you could do anything, okay. right? And everything was possible. And so you couldn't be in a cage unless you said so. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Literally, it can't affect us, but it can it can make us affect ourselves. It yes. can make us. It can make us create the jail for ourselves. Mm. It can't do it, but it can make us believe we do and trick us into doing it is what it's doing. And and just again, just a bit more on the on the response. Like response is if you respond to someone, you're passing on your thoughts, your ponderings to them. So you're giving them a question is what it I think is what it should be, but we just tend to mm. flippantly just respond with these weird opinions that aren't ours, right? Uh, but also I just want to say, um, we're probably getting close to the end is the I am, the I am is a statement. I am, I am this, right? It's mm. strong. Mm. It, it's it's sovereign. It's it's powerful, right? I am this and I will do this and blah, blah, blah. The, the reverse of that is the am I. Am I? That's a question, right? Am I AI? That's, that's interesting. That's the, exactly. That's the, that's the virtual. Right. So you go from the natural, which is you're created powerful and you know it, to the am I, which is all the outside stuff coming in you're not good enough you're too fat you're too slow you're not rich enough you're not tall enough oh am i all right that's the questioning right so what do you what, what do you want do you want to choose to be powerful and standing in power or do you want to be sitting there going am i and just questioning if you even are worthy of anything yeah what do you want i mean i i figure if there is a god or there is a creator or there is a parent of course, it has all the answers. Of course, people going, if there's a God, why are things so bad? And if there's a God, why is there war? And if there's a God, why are children being, you know, uh, uh, you know, having their problems? You know, I won't get into that again. But maybe what it comes down to is if there are gods and there is, in my opinion, a creator that can solve everything, why would it come down and solve all your problems, right? It, you know, Campbell talked about having children and letting children figure things out for themselves. What's the point? Like, then you're not alive. You're just like a baby sitting in a cradle and someone's force feeding you manna and heaven and honey and, and, and angelic music. And that would get probably boring real fast, right? So maybe uh, th this life is about just recalling, coming back to yourself, remembering to flip. You always flip the script. You know, we, we hit something on here that, that's really amazing that I find the AI am i i am I, I i strongly feel now even after this conversation that that's the ai bullshit I, I don't think it's real i think it's another rabbit hole bullshit crap that we're being tricked into to look at the ai instead of where you should be looking the i am i agree totally um you're powerful if you believe it um but they they want you to not believe it so stuff the ai right be be the i am stand up and uh, get out there and create your own world and, and take off the goggles, right? Mm -hmm. Stop stop creating a false god's reality for them, which is just built to entrap you and depower you. There it's you time go. to take the power back and create your future from within. So it's always at the end that I get the title of the chat so I had with Campbell. I want to do it at the beginning, but it's always backwards. So a false, <laughs> a false god's reality, that's what I'm going to call this one, from AI to I am. That is the bottom line here. So join Campbell and I. Uh, I'm going to put this out right away. We have our live stream on Friday. I'll be sending out a Zoom link after that. So our live stream might be a little shorter for people that want to join us. Join our Patreon. The links will be below. If you want to come to our live virtual chat, that will be right after our live stream. Uh, that's the only way you'll be invited in is, you know, through the Patreon. And we're not doing it to be mean, but this way it will prove to us and to yourself you want to join, you're interested, 
You put some energy in, you put some effort in, you have to put some effort into your own life. You have to put some currency into your own life. You got to plug in your own life, you know, and so you have to build it yourself. So, you know, see where the false God's reality is, see where your true God's reality is. And again, at the risk of sounding like I'm full of myself, you are your own God. I am my own God. You are also your own God, which is why we can't tell you what to do, which is why it's impossible for anyone to tell you what to do, because you have to decide. Even if you decide to listen to someone else's voice or someone else's reality, that's you deciding to listen to something outside of yourself. So in other words, you can't help but create your own reality no matter what you do or you don't do. So too bad for you if you don't like it because that's just the way it is. We're gods, right. you know, and you should accept the fact that you're fantastic, you're amazing, and you create your reality and you got no choice in the matter but to be amazing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry yeah. to tell you, yeah, you're the ultimate creation. Sorry. And it's all your choice. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you're all powerful. Sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry to tell you that you're all powerful, and that's what we meant long time ago when we said it's all your fault. It all, it really means on the opposite, it, you know, it's it is all your responsibility, your creative power. And if you don't like that, it's all your fault. It still pisses some people off. Too bad, you know. <laughs> Figure out where your faults are, where you're cracked, heal those so that you can create the life that you would like to live. And indeed, indeed. Oh, and right. of course, stay awesome. Okay, well, I love you all very much. See you all again soon. I'm going to get this up as soon as possible. AI to I am, you know, the false, don't create a false God's reality. And uh, if anyone has any questions, suggestions, like, subscribe, send us around, join our Patreon. You know, we have a lot of uh, uh, affiliates that'll be under here as well. Go to Campbell's event. He's got another one coming up soon. We'll leave all those links below. And we hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. And everyone. stay all powerful. Bye for now. Light of my heart, no one tells me where I should start. Freedom first is what I say. Nothing now gonna get in my way.